Hall of Fame basketball coach uh, Bob Knight once had the best argument about NCAA playing uh, paying at student athletes. The best argument against paying players is that it diminishes the value of education. That's now tr true now than it has ever been. For every athlete demanding a paycheck, there would be ten non deserving non-athletes who would gladly, who can't afford to walk in the door, who would gladly take that opportunity at hand. Paying a going to college is what we like to think about as the land of opportunity. Uh, going to college will give you an opportunity to play at a sport at a level and get perks and advantages that non-student athletes can only dream of. Uh, if you if you say you are members of the of the men's basketball team at the University of Kentucky, you will have a job waiting for you after you graduate, assuming that you do. Even if you never get off John Calipari's bench. Athletes have built-in con connections that only non-athletes can only dream of. Uh, for the very for the few schools that are lucky enough to not lose money in athletic departments, um, those the money that they're made in surplus go to help fund other sports that didn't that break even in sports that fell into debt. If these students are allowed cash cash in on the profits that that they that their sport is earning. The sports that didn't break even will, will, such as the small sports like women's water polo and tennis, would diminish. The end result would decrease in the numbers of sports offered at school, schools and therefore decrease the number of opportunities available for student athletes. Therefore, I believe that NCAA athletes should not be give, granted a living segment of any company.